Depreciation Basics Problem 5. Cantaloupe Company acquired equipment on January 1st, year 1 for $570,000. Estimated useful life of the equipment was 7 years and the estimated residual value was $18,000. On January 1st, year 4, after using the equipment for 3 years, the total estimated useful life has been revised to 9 total years. Residual value remains unchanged. The company uses the straight line method of depreciation. Calculate depreciation expense for year four. We have a depreciation problem. Remember, with depreciation problems, we need to look at what is the question asking. So calculate depreciation expense for year four. All right, let's go through. We acquired equipment on January 1st year, 1570. Doesn't look too bad. Estimated useful life was seven years. An estimated residual value, 18,000. Okay, everything looks good so far. January 1st, year 4, after using the equipment for 3 years, the total, aided, uh, total, <laughs> the total estimated life has been revised to 9 total years. So we have a revision in the estimated life. Remember that depreciation is all about estimates. We understand, again, that when you purchase property for a business, you purchase equipment, you purchase buildings, you purchase vehicles, you purchase computers, it's not going to be what it once was when it was originally purchased, when it was brand new due to obsolescence and wear and tear. We understand that. So it's estimates. Now, the key here, though, is we start off, and this this problem, this company uses a straight line method. So this is a pretty simple question until you see that there is a change in, in the estimate of the useful life. And these are probably the biggest headache when it comes to depreciation questions. Fortunately, we're going to make it easy for you. I'm going to have, um, I use the easiest method. And again, the idea is you could do this for any of the methods. Once I explain this to you, I use the easiest, a straight line to show you it's not that challenging and you apply it the same way to the other methods. So the best way to do this is to go through first and calculate the amount of depreciation that's been taken so far before the, before the change in the estimate. What method are we using? The straight line method. Remember our formula for the straight line method? We take cost minus the salvage value or the residual value, whatever you refer to it as. It's like the scrap value, right? Think about a car. When you get rid of a car, you're going to have a salvage value over the useful life. So the cost here, $570,000 minus the residual value, which we're told is $18,000. We then divide that over the estimated useful life of seven years. That equals $78,800. And fifty-seven dollars and fourteen cents per year, and it was placed in service on January first, year one. And again, we assume calendar year. That means that Cantaloupe was taking in year one seventy-eight thousand eight hundred fifty-seven dollars and fourteen cents. Year two seventy-eight eight five seven fourteen, and year three because this change happened on January first, year four, after using the equipment for three years. After three years. So we're going to multiply that 78,857.14, which is the amount per year, for three years. We're going to multiply that by three years, and we calculate $236,571.42 in total depreciation over the three-year period, over the three-year period that's total. Now think about what's going on here. Year one, year two, year three, we depreciate... Of the $570,000, we depreciate two thirty six five seventy one point four two. Remember, there's a residual value of $18,000, so we cannot go below that. Now, if we're changing the estimate this year in year um, four, the beginning of year four, and the way I like to think about this is draw this out visually. It helps you understand what's going on if you draw it out visually. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven years. That's how long we're going to depreciate. We've depreciated years one, years two, and year three, and now we are at the beginning of year four. What's happening now is we are extending this. We are extending this two more years, so we have to add on years eight and years nine. So originally we were going to depreciate 
over seven years. Now we're doing nine. So at this point, at this point, we have year one, two, three, four, five, and six. You can think about we're going to be recalculating the depreciation at the beginning of this year. We have six years remaining to depreciate. And you're saying, well, what exactly are you doing? What we're going to do is we're going to take the $570,000 we is the cost minus our $18,000, which we have to keep at the end as our residual value, and we're going to subtract away the $236,571.42 that's already been depreciated. And that is going to be our amount. And then what we're going to do is we're going to divide that by the six years remaining, and especially since we're doing this at the beginning of year four, and that's going to equal $52,571. In year four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, you're going to take $52,571 of depreciation. And the idea is that you're changing up this estimate to this amount partway through, but then you have to just adjust so you get the end balance of 18000 at the end of year nine rather than get 18000 at the end of year seven. So that's what we did. Again, changing up estimates is a real pain, a real headache, but as you saw, we just walked through the steps. Follow the same steps you've been doing. Think about logically what's happening. You've taken three years of depreciation, and now it's like you're restarting, but you have to subtract away the amount that's already been taken and think about how many years are left. Just think think. think Think through things logically and in terms of how what you're trying to do, ultimately, the, the big picture. And that's really what we did here. We followed those steps. We followed our timeline, and we got the answer.